Hey, good morning. Pastor Rob here. Coffee with Rob this morning. Today we're at the lake and I uh, got a chance to get out for a few minutes. And I had a question, very common. Am I saved? What does it mean to be saved? Why should I be saved? And so I just want to look at that this morning and maybe you can help somebody else answer that question or maybe you're asking that question yourself. And I was just thinking, in Romans 10, verse 1, Paul writes this, Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israelites is that they may be saved. But what does that mean? What does that mean? And so I looked it up, and I want to give you a little, of course, not an a exhaustive answer, but a, a, a decent answer on a definition of what it means to be saved. And the word there is sotira. It's saved, it's salvation, it's to agree, it's to align with God. It's to, so this is a belief. Um, but more importantly, the actual definition is God delivers uh, believers from destruction. What is that destruction? Well, the Bible says we're all going to die. Nobody's going to avoid that one death. That's a physical death. But there's a second death. But Revelation talks about a second death, which is a spirit, spiritual and eternal death. Those that are in Christ, and there is a difference. There are those who are in Christ and those who are not. Those who are in Christ will go on to life everlasting. Those who are not in Christ will go to the second death, which is a spiritual death. And that death is uh, destruction and hell to be tormented forever because of unbelief in Christ Jesus. And so Jesus is our Savior. What does it mean to believe? So how do I get saved, Rob? You know, what does that mean? What do I have to do? Basically, Romans 10 makes it very easy that if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart uh, in Christ Jesus, you shall be saved. And let me read that and, and always check everything I do with the Bible, please. It says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, believing that he is Lord, he is Savior, he is reigning supreme over the world, um, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will, or you shall actually be saved. And in a courtroom, that's, that makes a big difference. May, will, shall. Shall means absolutely you will be saved. For it is with the heart you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth you confess and are saved. You can confess from your mouth. You can confess with your life. Um, just saying, I believe Jesus is Lord. He is my Lord and Savior. Having faith in Christ Jesus. Um, and then believing in your heart. Now, heart, that's figurative. That is having at your very core, um, I believe Jesus is Lord. I have settled it in my heart and in my mind that I have decided that Jesus is my Savior. He is my Lord. There is no other way but through God, through Jesus Christ. Let me give you some words on that. Homo logeho means confess. It's the word translated confess. I have spoken the same, but more importantly, I have concluded that Jesus is Lord. And so I confess that with my mouth. Uh, I agree, I align, and I publicly declare now, you can declare that through your actions. You can declare that through your words. I like to say that conversion really, uh, the greatest evidence is, um, or one of the beginning evidences of your in inward conversion is baptism. Go get baptized. Every case in the New Testament in Acts, uh, now baptism may, does not save you, but baptism is the um, evidence of the inward change, the outward confession to the world that you are not ashamed of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if we are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of us before the Father. So homo logeho, confess that Jesus is Lord. Speak as Christ would. Speak biblical truth. Publicly declare that Jesus is Lord. And then, so that you confess and believe in your heart. The word believe is pistuo. P-I-S-T-E-U-O. Pistuo. Believe in your heart. And so it's figurative. The word is cardia, which means heart, as you know, if you're a medical person. Cardia or cardio means heart. Uh, so you believe in your heart. You believe in your heart and your mind, your inner self, your intentions. My center, my core, uh, will, my will and my moral preferences all show that I've believed in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my very core that Jesus Christ is Lord. So this is Romans 10, 9 and 10. If we believe and we confess that Jesus is Lord, and then the other question that comes up is, but you know, Rob, I found a verse in the Bible, and it is James 2.19, where it says, even the demons believe. Well, they do. And it's the same word. They believe to their core. 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. Why? Because they have firsthand knowledge. In uh, Revelation 12, you can see that the demons were in heaven before time began. There was a war in heaven. The devil reared his head in pride and said, I want to be better than God. I want to be God. And the demons were like, yeah, let's, we want to go with you, devil. So there was a war in heaven. They've seen Jesus Christ. They've seen God uh, firsthand. They've seen his power firsthand. They believe. So let's look at that. It says in James 2.19 that the demons believe. They believe and they tremble. They cannot deny what they know is fact. And that is they saw God face to face. They were with him in heaven. I believe even, and this is a personal thing. Uh, you could look this up or research this for yourself. That the devil was even privileged to the plan of salvation. Uh, when the determinate council determined before time that Jesus would come and save the human race. That the devil was privileged to that information. Therefore he came to destroy the human race in the Garden of Eden. He faced off with Jesus face to face in Mark 4 and Luke 4, trying to deter him and give him every other option but to go to the cross because the devil wants the human race. We have to be saved from the grip of the devil. We have to be saved, sozo, from sin. We have to be saved, healed, preserved, and rescued from the penalty and power of sin. Therefore, if we wish to be rescued and saved, we must believe and confess in, uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord. So the demons believe, and I want to give you some evidence of that. They believe, but they're not saved. They believe because they have firsthand knowledge that Jesus Christ is powerful and he is Lord. In Mark 1, 23 to 24, when confronted uh, with Jesus Christ in person, the demon said, I know who you are. Have you come to destroy us? What else do they know? They know who Jesus is. He's the Holy One of God. He is God in the flesh. And that they are going to be destroyed. They have this firsthand information. They know that it's eventually coming their demise will be forever and eternal. So they're like, have you come to destroy us? In Mark 5, 7, um, and in Luke 8, when Jesus goes to the Gadarenes and meets with the demoniac, and the demon inside this man sees Jesus coming, they said, Son, Jesus, Son of the Most High God. They know here comes Jesus off the, off, out of the boat, onto the shore, and he's going to confront this demoniac and the Gadarenes. And the legion, demon, see him. And they said, please, are, don't put us into the abyss before our time. They know their time is coming. They know that Jesus is powerful. They know they have no power over Jesus Christ. They know that their uh, destiny is set in stone, that they are going to be sent into an eternity of hell forever with their Lord, devil, small l. And, and so there's a difference between beliefs. One is a life-transforming belief, which is pistus, pistuas which is, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's caused me to change my lifestyle. I've been justified. I, I confess my sins. He's paid for my sins. I am, I am now separated from the world and that the, those that are not in Christ Jesus will go to hell with the demons. Uh, hell was not created for mankind, by the way. Hell was created for the devil and his demons. Heaven was created for mankind. If we go to hell, it's because we deny Jesus Christ. He's preparing a place for us, for those that are in him. If we go to hell, it's because we said, I don't believe. So please believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Tell others about that. Read Romans 10, uh, 9 and 10. <clears throat> so confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Go somewhere and get baptized. Tell the whole world, the whole church, all your friends that I believe in Jesus Christ. And here's my evidence of that. And be saved from the destruction coming to all mankind and from the second judgment, which is eternity in hell apart from Jesus Christ. Have a great day.